It's been six months since I reviewed Fury BST. And a new version that came out on the 14th of September 2020. I thought it was about time I had another look. Right, I'm booting up on my usual test machine. Good old reliable Dell. And we're booting into the live session of Fury BSD. And it looks very familiar. And of course, this is the KDE version. There we go. The desktop has changed a little bit since last time I had a look. Uh, you've still got the configuring for the Wi-Fi Xorg and the install, but now they've got nice icons and a new default wallpaper. Looks very slick so far, and the usual menu is there. You get configure Wi-Fi, configure Xorg, and install. The configure Wi-Fi would bring up a Wi-Fi configuration uh, dialog if I had Wi-Fi installed. Uh, selecting your graphics of choice. Uh, in this system, it's NVIDIA, so I'll just click OK. Brings up latest of 390 and 340. Well, this is an NVIDIA 710, so I think I should go for the latest. And there you go, it's just going to go through downloading and installing, which I think is a nice touch. And Exxon will now be restarted. Of course, this will uh, stop my recording software, so... We'll see how it works. There we go. Oh, sorry, there's an error. Oh, that's interesting. Just a little uh, KDE error there. Okay, it doesn't seem to have affected anything. Uh, the usual KDE default. Um, right, we'll... After that error, we'll just see whether or not it's actually loaded the NVIDIA driver. I should imagine it has. So, KLD start. Yeah, there it is. NVIDIA mode set and NVIDIA. It's all uh, very nice. Okay, what do you get as a uh, out of the box with Fury? Well, you'll get the default KDE applications. Uh, and if you're running XFCE, you get the default XFCE applications. Um, nothing unusual here. Oh, you do get Firefox included, which is non-standard, and that WPA GUI. Multimedia, Web Canoid, is all, it's, uh, it's a new addition. Uh, there's no LibreOffice by default. Settings is the usual. System, yeah, nothing unusual there. Sys Control View is uh, an addition. Utilities, um, that's got Kate there, very good. Right, okay, let's have a look at Info Center. Yeah, no, based upon FreeBSD 12.1, it's using 5.19.2, 5.71.0, and 5.14.2. Very good. And we'll just have a look from there. Some of these are blank. All right, some PCI information. Very good. Right. Let's have a look. Yeah. You just get the default wallpapers. That's if you're interested in that sort of thing. going to change it to uh, yeah we'll change it to that one and we'll start the install now it gives a slightly modified version of the usual um, install for FreeBST we go for uh, Stripe yeah that looks fine and yes and we'll begin the installation I'll fast forward, this uh, takes a while. Go remember that Fury BSD is not, um, it's hard to explain, it's not an operating system in itself like Ghost BSD. It's really um, 
just really vanilla FreeBSD with an added GUI on top. So it makes it easier to get a, a GUI based FreeBSD up and going very quickly. Similar to a script that you might get in FreeBSD uh, after you've installed the bare FreeBSD. But this is done for you straight out of the bat. So you really, uh, yeah, it, it's kind of like a halfway house. It's, it's like in between, it sits in between vanilla FreeBSD where you have to do everything yourself to GhostBSD where everything is taken care of for you. So although it comes with a nice desktop, you'll still have to install everything you want uh, separately, which I think is good because if it really, if it seems intimidating to install bare FreeBSD, then this will be a good alternative and it would get you up and going very quickly. I'm just going to breeze through all these uh, install options. Okay, there we go. We have the usual standard uh, KDE login. Right. Oh, there's no icons on the screen. We'll, we'll address that later. Right. Let's have a look at... Yeah, you got to get the office to So... What we'll do is we'll install uh, LibreOffice. I think that's maybe one thing they should include, but, you know, that's, I suppose, pushing it in the direction of uh, GhostBSD then. Right, so as is customary when you're installing things from FreeBSD, we're just going to use the uh, PKG. And we're just going to uh, do a small upgrade, see if there is any. Oh, there is Firefox, okay. Right, there we are. We're going to search for uh, LibreOffice. And we're going to look for the English GB. Ah, uh, there is. Which is the English language uh, pack. And it will pull in uh, LibreOffice anyway. At least it should do. So, PKG install, there we go. And we'll just uh, agree to that and we'll let it do its thing. This is using the um, the quarterly, well I presume it is, it's using the quarterly branch, the quarterly uh, repository for PKG. And if you were to switch to latest, I would imagine it will pull in the uh, latest uh, LibreOffice 7. But at the moment it's 6.4. Actually started up quite quick. Very impressed by that. Uh, yeah. Just type in the customary uh, greeting. Test. I'll put it to the biggest font. Oh. I've got a tiny little exclamation mark. Never mind. Right. Uh, top for the uh, memory voyeurs. There you go. Not too bad. And that's with ZFS running as well. And we'll have a look at the uh, wallpapers again because I do find this one a little bit jarring. Hmm. I'll put that one on. If we can do it. There we go. So. Uh, what can we look at now? There's not that much to look at considering... Uh, it's just bare bones free BSD underneath. Um, hmm. Yeah, I've just tested the USB, so no uh, USB was auto mounted, as I didn't think it would be, because you need to set that up uh, additionally. We'll have a look at widgets. Widgets work all right. KDE is functioning nicely. I'll put that one on. On the point of having no icons on your desktop, um, you could link, uh, you, well, you could create your folders, you could create a link, you could set up uh, Dolphin to point to the directory that you want. You can have Symlinks. 
So really, the, you know, you can put your own, uh, you can customize your own desktop that way if you wanted to. I mean, if anyone's installed on FreeBSD your, uh, your desktop from scratch, I think you'll understand uh, that these things have to be done manually. Here's a summary of all the changes since the last release. For further information, please go to the FuryBSD website forward slash blog and there you'll find a much more comprehensive rundown. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Right, okay, what do I think of Fury BST? Well, you have to approach Fury BST from the point of view of it being uh, just FreeBSD with a pre-installed and uh, polished desktop. Well, not so polished, but you know, pre-installed desktop. Either XFCE or KDE. And it will give you a, I'm gonna say relatively bare bones, but it'll give you a simplified FreeBSD system which then you can alter to make your own. And that's a good thing. So if you're impatient and you can't, you know, you don't want to install, you don't want to go for all the manual installation to get a desktop up and going, do this. But you're still going to have to configure um, the system yourself to get the other things like auto USB, etc., and printers. But this is a good step. And the developers at Fury BSD, well, they're keeping things simple. They're not over uh, burdening the uh, system. And they're working at their own pace. And that's to be respected. Anyway, this is just a quick look. And thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Uh -huh.